All right, everybody. So a couple of months ago, or back in the summer, actually, I did a video on the next vehicle I would get. I was leaning towards the Gladiator, then the Bronco, and a few other things. And well, I've made a decision. And here it is. Here's the front. And it is a Gladi Gladiator Rubicon. Sorry for the stutter here. Just give a, this isn't going to be a long video, just kind of a quick. Of course, here's the bed. It tamps down. The window. This is the other side here. And I'll show you in a minute. I, this is the first mod I did. I got rid of the Jeep whip tail, tail uh, antenna there and, and just went with the uh, simple uh, stubby antenna for the AM FM. So here's the front. And we'll go inside and take a look. Uh, now here's the seating in the back here. Uh, got a little storage, the generic storage. Nothing uh, spectacular there, but the nice thing is passengers finally have vents back here. Uh, some power outlets here. I can't, of course, I can't open it. There we go. Right there and stuff. Some cargo netting, some molly. That's the front. Right there, that's my seat there. Got Apple CarPlay. There's the dash. Give you guys a good look at it. And um, it's pretty comfortable. I'm very happy with this. And of course, we got the rear window here. Unfortunately, it's not electronic, but you know, still pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to hop up in the front here and uh, talk about it a little bit more. All right, guys, so we're back here in the Gladiator. I was a, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I, as some of you might know, I reserved a Ford Bronco Badlands. I was going to buy that. And a few weeks ago, I was ready to meet the dealer, order it, get everything squared away, and I was going to do that. But a little voice in my head, a few people that know me very well said, but you're a Jeep guy. Um, so I kind of, by the way, I had to shut the radio off so I don't get a copyright strike. Um, well, it's, it's muted. Um, so yeah, I was like, ah, I'll, I'll rethink this. It's not a big thing that I was in a rush. Um, but at the end, I am a Jeep guy and don't get me wrong. I love the Ford Bronco. It's an awesome vehicle. It's got some interesting things and Jeep better step up their game, uh, in their next edition or refresh of this vehicle and the JL when they do that. And I imagine they'll do that probably within a few years or whatever. But, uh, so yeah, I went with this. I'm very happy. I'm pleased. This is, uh, like my dream vehicle. I, long ago, I wanted a, a Jeep truck. Long ago, I wanted a, a Comanche. My teacher, my favorite teacher, Mrs. Martinez, her son had a uh, Jeep Comanche black two-door. That thing was awesome. I thought it was the coolest thing. And of course, I wanted a Jeep as well, a uh, regular Jeep, a Wrangler. And I've gotten those. This is I've had two of those, and now I have a JT, which is kind of like a Wrangler with a bed. So it's, it's, it's like my third proper Jeep, right? Um, going from my uh, Grand Cherokee, which I always wanted too, because my father, when I was growing up, he had those and they were comfortable. They were awesome. I liked those too. So I've checked mocked everything off. And then this came out a few years ago when they announced it and I was in love with it. Uh, cause it kind of combines the two things that I, I love and wanted. And, uh, now I can put that off my checklist, right? So the one thing I will say is these are overpriced, but I'll save that for another day when I bitch about things. But, uh, I got a good deal and I'm very happy about it. So, you know, but anyway, why did I get this in the long, at the, the short answer to that is I'm going to go adventuring uh, with this. I've had two previous Jeeps, uh, the Wrangler, my first Wrangler, I did a lot of crazy things with that. Uh, I used to sleep out in it underneath the stars, no top and everything. That was awesome. Um, I've done some dunes at the Cape and Cape Cod and uh, I did a few moderate trails like today where I am. I'm actually in a picnic. Hopefully I won't get uh, stopped by the environmental police and say you need a permit for over here. 
Uh, I'm just stopped for a minute. I'm not using the picnic tables or anything, so should be cool. But in any case, um, so I want to go out adventuring, especially after the last uh, year. Like, we've all been locked in the house. Not much to do. Now things are loosening up a bit. And I'm going to do, I'm not going to say overlanding. I would say weekend landing if that's my, uh, if that's what my friend, uh, well, he's not my friend. I just know his channel. I call him my friend because, well, I watch enough of his videos. Uh, Mike from Last Line of Defense, he goes weekend lander or something or whatever. But uh, in any case, I plan on going on like weekend adventures or adventures when I'm off or something and, and exploring things and checking things out. Um, and I got to say, this dashboard is pretty nice because I can just throw the camera up here and just kind of talk to you guys. So. No mount needed, although I did get a mount that's on its way. I'll talk about my mods another day. Um, what else was I going to say? Ah, I should give a shout out to a few people um, for channels that I follow. I'll leave a link in the description. The first one is Venture Forward with Chris. And he's I've been following him for almost four years of him getting his Jeep Rubicon JK, putting a pop-up tent on the back, and he's an overlander he lives out of that jeep and does all these exploring things and he kind of inspired me to get back into a proper jeep so to speak uh the next one would be jason from auto edits he kind of inspired me to kind of want to mod my jeeps now my past jeeps i've never modded or whatever and now i'm going to mod this but i'm not going to go insanely crazy or anything like that um i got a big ticket item coming and uh that's going to dampen a lot of the uh, spending on mods for a little bit, um, but it's worth it, I think. Um, and also, Trail Recon as well, seeing his adventures, his enthusiasm for it, uh, exciting stuff. I love watching his videos, and he's just had a recent video where he's out exploring in California and everything, and uh, Arizona, no, it was Arizona, in Texas as well, two places i got to get to, and hopefully I can do that with this. Um, the other thing uh, I want to mention is... Uh, Casey, Coyote Works, another, another channel I follow, he's off in Oregon and he takes these adventures off and uh, it's just inspiring stuff. So I just want to shout out to them. They're the reason my butt is back in a proper Jeep uh, doing these things. So it's, it's pretty cool. I'm very excited. Uh, the other thing is when I was looking at this, um, I had the option I could have went with the Mojave, which is a desert runner, so to speak, with a Jeep. But I backed off that. It was my backup if this didn't work out. But luckily this one was there and I went with the Rubicon because the Rubicon in the Northeast, uh, well, let me just show you. Let, let me see this, if you guys can see this, where I am. It's kind of like, well, this isn't a good example, but a lot of rocks and stuff that you see back there, roots and everything, tend to um, be on trails and stuff. Not that I'm going to hit hardcore trails or anything like that. I'm very much a novice when it comes to wheeling and all that stuff. But I will be taking on some trails. And But I just figured in the Northeast, it was better to have the Rubicon than the Mojave. Which, if I was out in California, Arizona, I probably would have went with because it's a desert runner. And most of those trails, I think that would work out uh, well. But I don't know. We'll find out when I get out there adventuring and stuff. So this is really an adventure rig. Um... I know uh, one of our friends at our EGM, she, uh, I'm not going to say her name. I don't want to, I don't think she'd want to do that, but um, she's actually looking into the Mojave. So hopefully I meet up with her and her husband and we get to meet and have a fun time and explore some trails and stuff out West or Midwest or wherever we go and stuff. So uh, I'm happy with this, the Rubicon. It's funny. I just happened to be doing a search on jeep.com, doing a little search and came across, I put in everything that I wanted. Now this doesn't have everything that I wanted, but it's got most of them. So most of it checked off. I got the spray and liner, the eight inch screen um, for the Uconnect screen, which I absolutely love. That, that thing is awesome. That was a big selling point on me. I don't have, and of course the front and rear lockers, um, sway bar disconnect. I don't have the auxiliary switches which was kind of a bummer at first because i really like that i like the clean look and everything and i want to add things to the jeep um but i was like is that really a bummer i can always get an s pod and put it somewhere and it, it won't be that big of a deal so that wasn't a deal breaker and stuff so very happy um 
not much more I can say other than uh, I know this channel, my channel, I tend to do a lot of pipe smoking and tobacco reviews and cigar smoking and kind of philosophy stuff, but this is just another wrinkle that'll be on my channel. I know this might not suit everybody that follows me, but I hope you stick around um, and just watch the adventures that I'm going to go on. And now this is kind of like me saying it, now I actually have to do it. So this is kind of me putting me on the the spot to uh, actually get out there and, and check out and explore the, the great, great country of America here, uh, of the US of A, and, and check things out. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for this video. It's kind of just an introduction to this Rubicon, and uh, I've actually called it Darth Nihilus after the Star Wars character on Star Wars The Old Republic because I've named all my Jeeps after Star Wars characters, and this being red and black, it just was fitting. Of course, my daughter wanted me to call it Darth Maul or, or the Sun from the Clone Wars. Some of you Star Wars fans will know what that is. But I decided to go with the one of my favorite Sith Lords and, and go with him. So I can't think of anything else. Uh, Apple CarPlay is in here, which is another awesome feature. Absolutely love it. I came across a thing where I could play YouTube on my screen here, but you kind of got to jailbreak your phone, and I don't want to do that with my iPhone. Um, but who knows? It's an old phone, so maybe I'll maybe I'll do it. I mean, it's not like not like I, it really matters at this point. At some point, I got to upgrade, but we'll we'll see. I don't know. We'll uh, figure that out as we go. So again, I got a few mods that are coming. I got a big mod. Well, it's not a mod. It's kind of something that is needed for the adventures I want to go on later on down the road. Of course, I'm not going to get too crazy. Um, this my big concern is this was actually built. Uh, I'll show you guys right here. Because some of you know, my birthday is in October. Hold on. And this was manufactured right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. On 1020. So in October of 2020, this was born. Much like me, October. Uh, at first, I got really excited because I thought that was the date, 1020. Not thinking, oh, hey, idiot. That's the year and that's the month, not the date exactly. Um, so... It's kind of like it was meant to be. Like when I pulled up to the lot to test drive it, I looked over, I'm like, oh, oh, okay. And then I walked up to it. Uh, I like the black rims on it. The tires are pretty cool. And, you know, they're not the greatest thing in the world, but it just kind of like spoke to me, I guess you could say. And I was like, oh, damn it. I'm going to have to buy it. I can't help myself. Um, it's too nice and too good. I have to go with it. And, and that's what I did. I just... That was the end of it. I, I, there was no turning back, back at that point once I saw it and test drove it. I was like, oh man, this is nice. Now, this is an interesting ride. It's very comfortable. Uh, this is probably the most comfortable Jeep I've had so far. I'll do a long-term review of it, obviously, as I go along. Um, although it's a little sway uh, in the back uh, when I'm on the highway. Not so much on the regular roads, it's more on the highway because it's been windy and that's why I'm kind of here because it's been windy and crazy so I've kind of, uh, you know, stuck around here. Uh, you know, couldn't do much so I kind of found this little cubby where it wasn't too windy or whatever. So, but anyway, I'm rambling on, not making much sense. I'm going to leave it here. Um, might do another video on the Jeep later today, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Maybe later in the week I'll do another video. Um, so stay tuned. All right, one last look, everybody. Thanks for checking out the video. Sorry, sorry if I rambled a little bit. I'm just in a spot where I, I feel like I'm going to get in trouble for some reason. Uh, but yeah, so that's the Jeep. Look for more Jeep Gladiator content coming up.